This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for choosing News 4. I'm Maurice Drummond. Here are some stories making headlines. St. Louis University has just announced that it'll make the usual standardized testing requirement optional for the coming year. The new policy means that students who did not submit their ACT or SAT results will not be penalized. The university said that this change is because of the widespread cancellation of test dates due to the pandemic. It's now been two days since Madison County leaders voted to defy the Illinois shutdown and reopen, but many cities are not going by those rules. Granite City and Collinsville are opting to follow the state order, which is in place to the end of the month. Businesses and cities that are reopening will do so with certain safeguards. That includes restaurants, stores, and gyms operating at 25% capacity. Governor J.B. Pritzker says that business owners and counties that are looking to reopen could lose licenses or refund, or excuse me, or relief funds. We have some important shopping news this afternoon. Several malls on the Missouri side have announced that they're getting back to business. We've learned that West County Mall, South County Center, and the Galleria all plan to reopen on Monday. All three malls will require employees to undergo health screenings and wear masks. Time now for a check of the forecast. Kent Earhart is here, and Kent, a threat of severe weather today. Yeah, we've already had some showers and thunderstorms over the northern part of the viewing area earlier this morning and also moving into the metro area from the west with some spotty storms. So I would expect that as we go through the day, a warm and breezy day. Boy, we've definitely turned the corner into the warmer pattern. 81 degrees, the high temperature forecast today. South winds at 10 to 18 miles per hour. And again, some spotty storms, but it's really tonight we need to watch out for some more thunderstorms to develop. And as you can see, as we go through the afternoon here with the super predictor, it is generating a few rounds of showers and thunderstorms. And one or two of those could put down some hail. But it's really tonight when we get this line of sh uh, strong storms that moves in from the northwest and you can really see it there at midnight and 3 a.m. and then rolling through the metro area tomorrow morning weakening as it moves to the south and mostly uh, kind of weakened and, and fizzling out by sunrise tomorrow then it's just spotty rain through the rest of the day it looks pretty quiet but those storms that roll through tonight have the risk of becoming severe there's a slight risk which is a level two risk on a scale of five for all of the yellow which is most of our viewing area so just about everybody under a slight risk of severe thunderstorms with that line. When it moves through overnight, make sure you get a weather update before you go to bed so you know to, what to expect. Tree pollen is low, grass is low, but the mold counts have been high. And you're looking at a high tomorrow of about 79 degrees with a spot shower or two. 80 degrees on Saturday, 77 on Sunday. A chance of storms both days. I don't think there'll be total washouts. I guess if there's good news is that it's going to be drier weather as we head into next week and we stay with near or above normal temperatures. All right, Kent, thanks a lot. That's your news for update. Remember that we're always on KMOV.com and your KMOV News app.